Hey everybody on the Real Matt Crocker channel, who happens to be my oldest son. Uh, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. We're doing a little prep work. I have uh, put in a cake. I'll give you a sneak peek. That's some of that pumpkin cake? That is the easy recipe that if you watch on um, Crocker Simply Southern, which is our channel, uh, my husband George and myself, Matt's mom and dad, um, it was just one spice cake mix with one 16 ounce can of pumpkin and one egg and that's it. Mix it, cook it for 30 minutes and take it out. It tastes exactly like dipping out of the middle of a pumpkin pie. It's delicious. And um, I bought two bags of collard greens from H-E-B, my favorite store. And I am going to cook those up with some bacon grease. And I'm going to go ahead and cook those today because tomorrow we just got a brand new stove. If you watch on Crocker Simply Southern, we even had a segment where George showed the whole stove. It has a built-in air fryer. It's a frigid air. It has a built-in air fryer. We just got it. This is the I have cooked one thing on the stove top and he's used the stove top. This is the first time of the oven for the cake and tomorrow he's going to attempt to air fry our Thanksgiving turkey. Mm -hmm. It will be the three of us as well as George's mom known as Granny. So who wanted the stove more for the air frying capabilities? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, she was complaining about this thing just doesn't bake right and this and that. No, the, the other oven was messed up. But um, the air fryer never came into my thought at all. That was his well, hobby. Well, and... we were looking at stoves, and, and then I saw this one, an ad, and I said, why not? A built-in air fryer. I'll try it. So tomorrow we're going to try that, and he's also said that he would take on the task of making mashed potatoes. So I am thinking, uh, you know, with a lovingly thought of being with you for 41 years together that I'll do my cooking today and you can do yours tomorrow. Sounds good to me. All right, so I'm going to make start making the collard greens while my cake is baking and then you can check back with me later. Baby centipede. I'm trying to see if we're getting a spoon. There. Those are the poisonous ones? I guess. But that's a baby one. I wonder how he got in here. Maybe his mother's in here. <gasps> Ew. No, he had to come in. He probably came in uh, on the bags from the truck. Ew. But that's a ba I've never seen a baby one. He needs to go. What size are they usually? About that long about eight inches long. we had those around here yeah i didn't know we had centipedes. yeah the big old they they're uh like armored and they have those things on the rear that hang up or maybe they, it has some, they have some big old mandibles in the front and that's what they uh they'll hook you with they say they used to grab on horses they were like a crippler that they would grab onto the horse's legs with all their their claws and their claws have poison tips so that's there's some that i think that are deadly but yeah, let's get that these aren't but this is just weird i've never seen a little one so mom you just put in i put those in collars. one bag of the chopped collard greens from heb and i added a little bit of water some salt and a big old tablespoon of liquid gold which is saved bacon grease of course southern gold southern staple too i'm going to put the lid on and let it cook down just a little if you're not familiar with collard greens that looks like a big old pot full it'll end up with a little old handful it just cooks down a lot so when it cooks down i'm going to add the other bag i'm going to stir that all together add the other bags add a little more seasoning and let it cook until tender that sounds good so all right so i'm going to check the collards as you can see, they've already cooked down some. And they haven't even been in there all that long. Nope. I'm going to stir all this together, which is just the salt and uh, bacon grease. 
And now I'm going to add the other bag. You sure like to bang them edges, don't you? I do. <laughs> With the... It gives it a little dun -da 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 effect. I'm going to add another cup of water. And you're doing this on high, you said? Yes. I'm going to add a little more salt. Is that H-E-B salt? It is. Good dog. And some more liquid gold. If you n noticed, it's a different um, cup of it <laughs> because I had more than one. That's the secret to her. Everything. Her face being smooth. She really uh, liquid gold on it. <laughs> Listen, Is that true? I know that's not true, but I want to tell you something. Granny told me she used to put lard on her face like Crisco. And she has always had the softest, tightest skin. I have never tried it. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. All righty. Mm -hmm. wait. Yep, when uh, you see them next, they will be ready. going to sprinkle powdered sugar on it and it'll be good to go. Little ow! Little update. <laughs> Don't fog your mirror up. Smells good. Like a fresh fart. Yep. <laughs> I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday. I think it always has been because all the family gets together, you get to eat great food, and there's no expectations and letdowns of giving gifts. I just like Thanksgiving. Can't argue with that, folks. Can you argue with that, George? You can argue Ditto. with George. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Happy Thanksgiving. Howdy. 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 You chopping up taters? Yeah, I'm gonna make some mashed taters. Um, got the turkey in the oven. Got the turkey in there. Yeah. What's on here? That's the giblets. The neck, the gizzard, the heart. Stuff like that. Wanna make some gravy? Make some gravy. Come talk to me. I'm so excited I don't have to do the turkey. <laughs> I just get to enjoy it. There's nothing better than not cooking it and smelling it and getting to eat it. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh my God. Dang. I don't know if we're supposed to be opening the, that oven or not, but man, oh man, am I ready for that. Good job, Dad. So far, we'll see if it cooks. I hope it does. I'm just giving some kudos out to Dad. I had said in an earlier video that uh, the one that picks the stove should be the primary cook, and he took that to heart and decided he was gonna take care of the turkey and the mashed potatoes. And all that left for me was I made the collard greens. And yes, you should have cornbread, but we are having rolls instead. And um, the cake. And now I'm going to put together a cranberry uh, tray. And Granny's bringing some. Brownies. She made some brownies last night. She says, I've got to at least bring something. So some of these turkeys come with the hairnet. See? You just go work well. You just cover it up, keeps all your hair out of all your food, keeps the floss out of the turkey. That's right. I think that's Daryl's dad. <laughs> um, so this is how I make my cranberry. I buy a can, actually two, and it, this is H-E-B brand, Hill Country Fair. I take my plate over to the can opener, 
I've had this can opener 41 years. Yeah, this thing's older than me. And don't still get it. Don't get like too cl much of a close up on it because it don't probably don't look that great. Now the trick to getting cranberry out of a can is to open both ends or open this end and take your knife and slice it around. <laughs> Like that, then all I do, pop a little hole in there. Wow, out of all that, the last 10 seconds I could probably use. And that's how you slice cranberries. And there you go. Slice from a can. Making tea. That's dad's gravy. Mashed potatoes. Here. Oh man. Granny. Hi, Granny. Hi. Granny came and joined us today for yes. Thanksgiving. Doing good today. Our first air fried turkey. For the full story on this Thanksgiving, make sure to check out the real Matt Crocker. For the real story, make sure to check out Crocker's Country Fire. Hot. Folks will say you should have let it rest. They'll say you should have let it rest. Yeah, no, well, it's been sitting out. It's just not cold yet. Let's see if we can't get this out. Mm -hmm. What'd you add to it? Well, Washed it, patted it dry. Put butter up all up underneath the skin on the breast, around down to the wings. And then rub butter all over the outside of it real good and inside the cavity and everything. Got a good buttery. Put some butter pads under its arms and stuff. Salt and peppered it real good. And then put some uh, poultry seasoning over the top of it. Stuck it in the air fry oven. It's a 17 pound turkey. Took two hours and 20 minutes. And it tastes good. At 350. And it is succulent. Moist. Mmm. Even Tiki's wanting to get some of that. Yeah. Hey, I have none of that. You ready to eat though? Yes. Me too. Seeing dad cut up the slices. Mm -hmm. Got some slices going on over here. There's some dark meat. Well guys, I made it back home. It was a great Thanksgiving. I got to spend time with my family. Got to hang out with you guys on the Crocker's live chat, but I think it's time for me to take a nap. A much needed uh, nap from being in a food coma. But if you guys wanna check out the actual sit down and eating part, you gotta go to Crocker Simply Southern and it'll be on their channel. But it was fun and I'll see you guys later.